The Blue Ridge Dam and Reservoir were built by Phelps Dodge Corporation in the early 1960s. The Salt River Project agreed to help Phelps Dodge secure Black River water for their copper mining operation in Morency in exchange for water from the newly built reservoir. SRP acquired the Blue Ridge Reservoir from the Phelps Dodge Corporation in February 2005 as part of the Gila River Indian Water Rights Settlement approved by the United States Congress via the Arizona Water Settlement Act. The agreement settled water rights issues, allowed for the transfer of the reservoir and pipeline operations from Phelps Dodge to SRP, and provided an allocation of 3,500 acre feet of water annually from the reservoir to northern Gila County communities. At this time, the name of the dam and reservoir was changed to honor C.C. Cragen. Cragen is remembered for his vision of using SRP's desert dams system to generate hydroelectric power. The C.C. Cragen project consists of a number of facilities including the dam and reservoir, a diversion tunnel and pump shaft, pumping plant, priming reservoir, pipeline, electrical transmission line, and a hydroelectric generating plant. From the reservoir, water travels through a 6 foot diameter, 4400 foot long tunnel and is pumped up some 400 feet by a pump station which carries the water into the 33 inch pipeline. In order to accommodate the rolling terrain on its 12-mile journey, some 22 sections of the pipeline were built above ground in order to traverse the arroyos. In the wintertime, when the reservoir freezes, water is shut off and the pipeline is emptied. In the spring, a small pump is turned on at the reservoir, and a 2 million gallon priming tank on the pipeline is filled in order to begin the process of sending the water down the rim. A vacuum breaker is introduced in the form of a water tower just before the water makes a journey down the side of the rim. This prevents rushing water from forming a vacuum inside the pipe which could collapse and break it. Gravity creates pressure within the pipeline ideal for running an electric generator down at a power station where the pipeline joins the East Verde River. This generator creates the power that is needed by the pumping station to pull the water out of the reservoir and send it on its way down the pipeline. It's the closest thing to a perpetual motion machine that you might ever see. Because of the age of the system, many repairs and upgrades were needed at the pump station to modernize the system's hair. Also, over the years, the above ground portions of the pipeline cracked and began to leak. These had to be fixed and the town of Payson in conjunction with SRP set out in 2008 to do this. Rather than try to plug the leaks, it was determined that replacing leaking above ground sections of the pipe was the best way to go. So new pipes were inserted along with new trestles with special plates that allowed for movement of the pipe. At the same time, another act of Congress, the ARRA, or the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, enabled Payson to receive era stimulus money to purchase 62,000 feet of pipe that accounts for most of the entire pipeline construction project. At that time, the cost of the ductile iron pipes was a bargain compared to today's prices. In 2009, the second phase of this pipeline rehab was completed, including the two crossings that are on the downside slope of the rim. Also in August 2009, the comment period portion of the National Environmental Policy Act process took place with a public awareness meeting at Julia Randall Elementary School. This was the beginning of a four-week period in which input from the public regarding all aspects of the new pipeline project was received. In 2010 and 2011, the Town of Payson conducted important tests and research in preparation for treating the water that would be coming down from the Craigan Reservoir. A pilot treatment plant was set up at the power plant site to test the Craigan raw water and determine what would be needed to purify it for use in Payson's existing water system. The water would also have to be buffered because the new surface water is entering a groundwater system where the groundwater has been in contact with underground minerals and deposits and would have a tendency over time to harm the existing system. Speaking of groundwater, the town of Payson will not immediately use all of the new Craigan surface water available to the town. So in order to retain the rights to the water allocation, it was determined that the town would replenish existing wells with some of the surface water allocation not needed for immediate use by Payson's water customers. How could this be done? 
the new Cragen water will be injected directly into the town's water wells. During 2011, the town of Payson tested and identified the 11 of our 42 wells that could be used for the purpose of storing the Cragen water. A variety of potential delivery methods and routes were available to get Payson's allocation of water from Washington Park to Payson, but all of them passed along or through public lands administered by the U.S. Forest Service. The National Environmental Policy Act sets forth the necessity and procedure for conducting an environmental assessment and the responsibility of the Town of Payson to conduct studies as directed by the U.S. Forest Service. The studies were completed in 2011. In 2012, the Forest Service issued a special use permit to the town for construction of remaining Craig and Project elements. Also in 2012, additional pipelines to transfer treated water from the yet-to-be-constructed water treatment plant to the existing system were installed in North Payson. A new 18-inch pipeline from Zurich Drive to Easy Street to Evergreen Street across to Manzanita Drive and down Park Drive to Mud Springs Road was constructed. Also, an 8-inch pipeline from the Elks Club area west on Airport Road to connect to the airport storage tank was added. Another 12-inch water line is necessary to connect to the Rumsey Park water storage tanks and was constructed across Rumsey Park and McLean Roads on West Rumsey Drive. In order for the town of Payson to receive the new Craig and Water, a connection of Payson's new 18-inch pipeline to the existing SRP hydroelectric facility located at the headwaters of the East Verde River was necessary. In fall of 2012, construction began on this portion of the project, including a tail race connection in the form of a huge concrete box, meter vault, valving, piping, and other apparatus. The challenges for this project included a limited space for construction and rock excavation in an environmentally sensitive area. The cold and wet winter weather also presented a tremendous challenge for the contractor. For the town of Payson, this was a great effort for the first Cragen project construction in the Tonto National Forest. And in 2013, construction of the finished water pipeline from the water treatment plant site at Mesa del Caballo two miles in length along Houston Mesa Road and cross country to Tyler Parkway was completed. A unique trenching method was used as a large trencher was employed in order to minimize the need to process rock on the site. The trencher actually grinds rock into an appropriately sized pipeline backfill material. This pipeline will eventually connect to the pipeline at Zurich Drive by means of a 1.5 mile section on Beeline Highway from Tyler Parkway to Zurich Drive to be built in the spring and summer of 2015.